Hey, welcome back. Um, it's early morning. We're going to put the boat in the water today. Um, just got to finish up a few things here and then we're going to leave. Um, definitely a little bit nervous about it. As you've seen last week when it came out the water, um, the back got quite close to the waterline and the boat that came it back in the water as we came out um, actually went to the waterline. So um yeah i can't lie that does concern me let's uh, let's get over there and see what happens so jobs are done uh, the shed's tidy mike did it not us actually which is very good of him and um, so we've taped up the back deck i'll show you that in a second just waiting for the farmer to turn up and then we can get back in the water well, you can't knock the scenery. The farmer took a little bit longer than we thought, a few hours, uh, but it didn't matter. He had jobs to do and we were happy to wait. This is the uh, the bit that I was most nervous of uh, when we put Harriet Ann back in the water. Uh, I'm not great with heights and although I'm not that high up either, I'm not fond of it. I will uh, shut up for a minute and let the boat win the water. So you're pointing out that way, how far off the water, and I don't want to overheat it. Oh, right, yeah, 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 there's uh, about yeah. three foot, two and a half foot there. We're going out. Yeah. At this point, I'm asking Mike, should I start turning the prop? Uh, we have to put a good bit of revs on, one, to get it off the trailer as quick as possible, and two, to stop the exhaust from taking on water. This is the bit that I'm most worried about. As you can see, the boat's at a really steep angle and it's still on the trailer, yet the edge of the boat is getting closer and closer to the water. Thankfully, this is as bad as it gets. As you can see, the boat starting to come back out of the water at the back and we're slowly moving off the trailer and we can make our way back over to our marina. That went without a hitch, which is uh, fantastic because I was a little bit worried about it. The back went nowhere near the water. Uh, the engine is making a bit of a clicky noise. Uh, I'll explore, explain more about that shortly. Uh, but for now, I'm getting back home to Feathers. So we made it back safely. The couple of issues are, one, we didn't have a dipstick. When we got a replacement, it was the wrong type, so it was rattling around in the engine. And two, the uh, diesel line wasn't quite on tight, so as you can see, the bilges were a little bit of a mess. Uh, not to worry, nothing uh, a quick clean won't fix. By magic, all the rubbish is gone, diesel's gone, and it's had a bit of a clean. I'm going to have to give it another lick of paint now because the paint's gone dark, but it's no problem. Next up, we wanted to tackle these gutters because um, they're quite rusty. We uh, we got Brad to repair the welds on them, and they're leaking at the moment. So whenever there's rain, um, there's rain water going into the bilges, which means they have to hoover it every week. So first plan is to treat the rust. And then after that, Kelly is going to fiberglass them to get rid of all the holes. So we 
this is Kelly putting down the uh, the first lot of uh, fiberglass. She doesn't trust me to do this kind of job, so she does it herself. And then after it's all set, we will uh, we will black it all. As you can see there, now it's dry. Uh, we'll have to do a few more coats, but it's all we've got time to do because the um, the mechanic is in his way and they're not too distant. So first things we've got to nip over to St Mary's to pay for the um, for the time out the water and in the shed. So we're going to do that now and then in the not too distant future the mechanic should be here to finish off the electrics and the uh, bits for the engine. So this is Andy, the uh, canal contractor's engineer. He's currently got the engine suspended because he's taking off the mechanical gearbox and he's going to put on a replacement uh, PRM 150 hydraulic gearbox. If you want to see me tiling craftsmanship, <laughs> go, go and have a look at Cliff's fire. So that's the old gearbox coming off. And this is the replacement uh, PRM 150 gearbox. A couple of um, things have to be adapted for it to fit on the Vitus, uh, but nothing that can be done quickly. Now Andy's trying to bleed any air out of the system. There goes my bilges again. Um, an essential part because we've had a new engine. There's air in the lines. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we have to get it all sorted out. Excuse the noise, but now the engine's running. And he's just finishing up the last couple of bits. He's got to put the lagging on the exhaust, and then he's pretty much done. It looks a lot nicer. It does, and you know the nice bit? <laughs> you can't get caught off it. No. Ryan was forever slicing himself on it. Yeah, you know the wires that twist round. Oh, I hated that bit. I also just hated the, the glass fibre in your arms. Mm. So there you have it. That's the engine now fixed. Um, he's also managed to wire in all the instruments so everything does as it's supposed to. Uh, we have a button for the light, the horn, and for the bilge pump, and we've got a replacement bilge pump, which you'll probably see in later episodes. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the console now. So that's the fuse board. And then there's our instrument panel. We've also got our, our horn, our bilge pump, and our front light, if I get my hand out of the way. So it's all good. Just got to put the cover on the bottom, and we are laughing. So that's it for this episode. As always, please like and subscribe. Big thank you to Canal Contracting for the job they've done, Andy and Kim. You've done amazing work. Uh, fantastic guys that nothing fazed them at any point. Whatever the problem was, it was done quickly and well and nothing nothing fazed them whatsoever. Um, got some news coming up next week. Why Andy was here, we're going to look at some other stuff and we found some uh, things that aren't quite exactly as he should be on the boat. Surprise, surprise. So there's more projects on the way. But for now, as always, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Wednesday at four. Bye for now.